Welcome back, attractive and well educated watchers, to a brand new episode of Neandercon, the most exceptional here on Caveman to Cosmos, the best version of civilization ever made. Last time we left off, we were just. Well, we were just, uh, trying to recover stuff. We did some game between the episodes and recovered a bit more stuff. A bit more of our economy. As you can see. And this time, we're going to try to get into the green consistently. Every single turn, henceforth. So, if you're excited to see what happens today, remember to like, subscribe, and do all those other lovely things that help support the channel. Go on down to our link tree link in the description. Find all the other places we do stuff. Support us there. Share this video anywhere you can. And if you're an especially attractive and well-educated watcher, go on down to our Patreon via that link tree link and pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause and join the Mighty Mighty Ranks of Mike the Microphone, our number one patron of all time. And Tall Panzer, our number one watcher of all time, and get your name in the game. That's right, this game, because we have 76 cities, and we need patrons to name them after. It's super important that you get your name in the game. Alright. You know, just for $1 a month. It's just, you know, not even a cup of coffee or whatever. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's move on. The Kremlin. The home of secrets. <laughs> okay. Which one's this one? Chilla House? Or however you say it. In, in this case, we're not even gonna try. It's, uh, it's very early in the morning. Yup. Yup, not even gonna lie. Hey, we're in the green today. That's nice. We are, we are absolutely gradually getting more and more of everything. We're just gonna... Alright. Getting rid of some stuff. Get that skyscraper in Brutagala so we can get it back onto the, uh, supply train. Automotive dealership, so we can automotive dealership train that thing. Get strong, can go kill. Uh... Airport. It's interesting because airports are probably one of the few things that we do combustion engines for. Like, to, because other, otherwise we just have, like, windmills and, uh, various different environmental power sources for, uh, for our electricity. So we wonder, like, what does this society actually use combustion for? Do they use- they- obviously they use it for, like, probably for cars, and probably for airplanes and stuff like that. Although, realistically speaking, not everywhere has an airport. More places have airy, uh, ornithopter Aries still that they use, which is, like, completely gas-free. And they probably, uh, there are probably still tons of people who are like, nah, airports, they're never gonna catch on. Because that was only several years ago. Not even a generation. Yeah. That's interesting to think about, like, cool thought experiment. Alright. Nope, not that way. That way. Alright. Kablam, quality 90s Nickelodeon Entertainment, give Bjarkatopia some uh, horses, we got... Alright, next turn! Alright. And we're in 2 million because we traded off some technologies, but now that we're getting better, we will not trade off technologies again. That's not going to happen unless we get truly desperate. And we have 2.45 million gold right now, so we are not desperate. We are actually, like, the second richest person as of last episode, we think, which is concerning. For, like, the state of the world's economy. Like, what are you guys doing? A source of bison just popped up? I mean, that's really cool. <laughs> We probably aren't hunting them terribly much anymore. Uh, but we are using them for various purposes, definitely. Uh, got those telephone networks going. Yeah, telephones aren't even, like, the biggest thing yet. Alright. 
They're just not nearly as common. Uh, it looks like we are staying in the green. If we stay in the green for like 10 turns or whatever in the thousands, we'll chance at raising our research up to 5%. Ooh, and the great and powerful war machine slash think tank that is the Neanderthal Nation. Is that? That's uranium out here on this side. That's a great place for uranium. Just out in the middle of frickin' nowhere. We like that, okay. One moment. This is where our Adam Punk Utopia is going to come in handy. Give us a... Just a second here. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, we'll get to that one later. Alright. Let's get that archaeology lab up and going. Let's get that public beach rolling. We're still in the green. Third turn in a row. So, ten turns and we'll... Probably get it going. For Degala. Pretty much this whole entire peninsula is going to eventually be supply. We're forcibly pushing our people into the next, uh, into the next age. Like, with really, really freaking powerful stuff. Really serious supply trains going on. Our economy is coming back, baby! That's what we're talking about. With the suspenseful Atomic Age music, still, we guess. Oh, not in the green! No, we'll never give up Hellenism. Shut up. We are the leader of the world, why would we give up Hellenism? Alright, Sheertown. You get your day. Tabulation firm. Nope. Nope. Darn it. Right. Okay. Tabulation. Tabulation firm. Alright. You should then... Go. We value vaccine labs more than we value volleyball courts, just putting it out there. Like, as a public thing in real life, too. That's, that's, yeah. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Alright, let's get that daycare center up and going so Sojourner can get back in the game. Uh, Gypsy Rose needs that parking garage, so they can get in the game. That automated switchboard is important to get Tolosa in the game. This guy... Hey! Electric Railroads. Oh, man. Is it that time already? It, we suppose it is. Okay. Well there, buddy. It's then time where are our here's a dog worker where right. yeah boy So, here we go, we're starting it all over again. Nine tiles. We did separate you, buddy. Oh, man. Upgrade. Make electric railroad. Here's a dog worker, make it better. Here it is, guys. Back to forever roading. Yet again. Oh boy. Oh boy. What do we got here? 
Secretary General, Steampunk Worker. Yup, it's back to the infrastructural age now that the war is over. It's back to work. That's right. Back to work. So we gotta go through all of the industrial era nonsense. Make all the different... Get all of our workers out. That's the obnoxious part, actually, is getting all the workers out. Finding all the workers, getting them all out. Here's a few, almost half a dozen workers. Do we have... Alright, good. The whole continent's good. Okay, so you go here and make a road. And you go here and make a road. And you go here, and you make a road, and then you go over here, and you make a road. Alright, Giza's on a strong start, or uh, not Giza, but this uh, continent, with, with the one that has Giza. We are totally the talkie boops today, honestly. Really, for real. So these electric railroads, they get people there even faster, we hear. Newfangled contraptions and all that nonsense. So long as they can get us our bananas on time. We don't know. We, 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 maybe our people are really into bananas. Like, that's the oh yeah. Maybe not. Maybe maybe we're just being silly. Alright. And then... Uh, this place will be good pretty fast. Because we'll just... One at a time at like we did originally. We got a bunch of uh, workers down here. Alright, alright, so now, yet another age of infrastructure, yay! We didn't even go to the main continent, we are like, no, no, the rail bubble's popped, it hasn't. It's going super strong. Alright. Get into crypting machines soon. We'll get game theory going on. No! no! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that! It's, it's, it's the... We have our own culture there now? Slow the hell down! No, no, go back. That's fascinating. And we love it. Show us more. Yes! Yes! It's not, it's not just, it's not just a, a dignified planter class anymore. It's a, it's a large minority. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. That's nice. We like that a lot. Alright. Let's just start by making roads to all of the proper cities. Alright. Roads to all the proper cities. Come on now, there you go. Dive bar. It's more important that Bertigala gets in place. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just work on this layer. Just like we usually do. 
Oh no, we're here. That means we have to acknowledge that certain things probably exist. Yup. Is that the only guy on that entire peninsula? Jeez. Okay. Well, normal stuff then. Boink. Uh... We'll be working in forests. So... We should probably do that. Aha! Uh -huh. Huzzah! Even. Quickly conquering this land with railroads! And it's good. You know. As you would assume. Oh, alright, alright, what do we got here? Let's go start on this layer. <clears throat> alright. This is not so bad. Not so bad at all. We have one turn of being in the green, alright? That's nice, that's good. And we're properly in the green. Remember, 10 turns being in the green on the 11th turn, we will raise it to 5% and start the chugging research machine of the Neanderthal nation again! We're still making technologies faster than everybody else, but it's not fast enough. Especially with them other nations coming and biting at our heels for our technology. Work it. Work it. Oh, beautiful. A fantastic countryside. Okay, two turns. Two turns. We have had a great and glorious positive influx in our, uh, our economy. Alright, uh, water pumping station is a little bit more important than a police box, only in that the police don't have anything to protect if everybody dies from, uh, dehydration. Put it out there, we know it's a controversial opinion, but we're sticking to our guns on this one. Alright. Watch as in near years. We turn a glorious continent into an even more glorious continent. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Just keep it up, Bobby. Yes. We think we will go all the way down here. And... We'll go over here. Beautiful. Perfect. A great and glorious plan is underway. Other nations do not see it, cannot fathom it. But we do. We understand. Yeah, give up your faith and... Yeah, give up your faith. It's all about Buddhism, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Nice. And now the transformation process has begun. This continent, too, shall be well established 
and properly tended to. The horror. And there shall be workers working productively and happily. And all shall despair, we guess. Alright, what do you got? One dog worker here. Like, oh, there's nothing in Sindra. Like, it, why would there be? That actually does seem like it would be a waste of money. Dog worker. My gods. It's time. It's time for Constantinople to take its ultimate form. The home of mammoths. My gods. My gracious, even. It's time. Mammoths. Mammoths. We've always wanted mammoths on this continent. Now we shall have them. Now we shall use them. So where's our... We have worker boys or something over here. Aha! Alright. So we'll go here, and then you go here, and then you go here, and you do that thing. And nobody cares about you, Colonel, sorry. And then. Make you get bigger and stronger. You'll go. Oh. Wake your ass up and separate. Thank you. Alright, let me get that. And then this guy will start the inevitable conquest of the land over here. And, uh, we did actually get rid of a bunch of workers or whatever, didn't we? We, like, sent them off to a different continent or something, we think. Clearly we still got them, because, like, they're here. There's an industrial era worker. Alright, well, that'll start at Tiro Town. Alright, alright. So we think we got this. Good, good. It's two turns of positive cash. Two turns of positive cash. That's really good, and we're getting decryption machines. So... Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. We had to make desperate measures. Desperate measures. But, but, here we are. Ooh, 13,000. That's definitely a lie, but we like it. It's a good lie. We're not giving you free technology, Theodora. Uh, early computer. Ooh, television. No, let us not race into such things just yet, even if we have electronics. Oh, <laughs> yes. No, no. No, no. We need to... Uh, tanks. Tanks are good. You know what? 
Wait one moment. Blah, 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 blah. Coast Station. We need to get tanks. We need to get tanks. Oh, it obsoletes the animal trainer mammoth. But we don't like that. We just got mammoths. Alright, we'll take Guerrilla Warfare. Which gives a post-apocalyptic urban giraffe urban rider. We'll take that just so we can say that we had mammoths, okay? It's oh, it makes us sad. Don't judge us. We're so close to having a meaningful mammoth production center. It's not necessarily true at all, actually. Alright. Alright, both of you go that way. Here we are. The Forever Rotor. It's gonna go forever. All of the roads forever. Or something. Yeah, they do mountain tiles much better. Uh, stick it up. Roll out. Yeah, so we think this has been a good episode today. We are recovering. We're on our third, uh, third, uh, turn of profit. We think that it's good enough that we can end the episode. So if you liked what you saw here today, remember to like, subscribe, and do all those other lovely things that helps put the channel. Go on down to our link tree link in the description. Find all the other places we do stuff. Support us there. And if you are an especially attractive and well-educated watcher, seriously consider heading on down to our link or our uh, Patreon via that link tree link in the description. And pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause and join the Mighty Mighty Ranks of Mike the Microphone, our number one patron of all time, and Tollpanzer, our number one watcher of all time. Get your name in the game. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and of course, remember to help each other. Bye!